uh, impact these uh, ascendants so let's see so, so to start with i uh, will be taking up aries so for aries people this uh, transit is um in your 7th house the angular house thus forming the malavya yog for the newborns venus uh, rules the second and the 7th house uh, second house of family 7th house of spouse marriage business partners public life our behavior towards others career bonds contracts legal issues even the second child is seen from that house uh, to, uh, of open enemies so why i'm saying all these significations because these will come forth whenever uh, uh, you know this transit is happening in uh, aries for the aries people so these things have to be uh, seen and venus is a significator we should not forget of the fourth and the seventh house and aspects your first house thus it becomes a relationship centric transit for you hence uh, those intended to uh, intending to get married will find a suitable match for themselves then uh, family problems will get resolved during this period there uh, will be an improvement in your financial condition good times to go in for uh, new business ventures uh, if planning a job change or buying a property or vehicle you know all those general things you know i'm saying then this is a good time uh, to uh, you know before venus goes retrograde of course we must do all these things before do that if possible and mercury will also be joining in um so one must be watchful during uh, the retrograde phase because that's the time when mercury will be joining uh, venus so to avoid financial investments that time and without reviewing as venus is a significator of wealth that will be uh, a big no no you know you have to be extra cautious if planning a makeover or a new you know make over as in like of your own self because it's aspecting the first house or maybe you know people come to me whether uh, this is a, a good time to get a new haircut will you believe that <laughs> so so yes uh, uh, before getting retrogression uh, you can get that haircut also done so this is the right time and uh, then venus will be uh, sun will be um, joining venus uh, in libra that will be the time when venus will be under combustion also so it is considered an auspicious time uh, it's not considered a auspicious time to get married you may uh, defer it for a month if possible then uh, mars will be in your angular house in the to each other the kendra that enhances the romantic and the passionate you within you you know so you can make the most of that now health issues of course can uh, crop up at that time so just um, and that to uh, related to the reproductive organs so and the lower abdominal area so be watchful and of course a lot depends on the natal position of your venus and the nakshatra so and so many other factors so be that's how special uh, and dasha of course yeah. dasha is the main basically before uh, the delivery boy has to the, the courier we are talking about yeah so coming to taurus taurus natives venus is transiting your sixth house being the lord of the first and uh, the sixth the house of self and the service or even healing diseases loans uncle and aunts pets house help your co-workers even uh choosing what you uh should wear today that is also seen from the 6th house which is the most difficult task these days for females i think always so is that <laughs> sorry always i think <laughs> always yes so it's it's a house you know which uh helps us fix something which is not fixed it's a it's it's an obsessive compulsive behavior house so any planet transiting the 6th house these qualities will come forth so i'm just giving you the significations so that you can just keep in mind all this so you know you're mentally prepared that this period is going to offer this so you can just uh, check keep a check this is the best time to reflect back on the health uh, related issues like uh, those of high or low sugar maybe if you are diabetic just keep a check 
uh, keep a uh, you know uh, urine infections uh, urinal tracts they can get infected so you should get check those must go in for thorough checkups at that time maybe you can take up regular walks because uh, sixth house you see sixth house is the 12th from the 7th also so that can cause relationship issues lack of cordiality with the spouse or the business partner it is the 9th from the 10th sixth house so the work environment is not conducive and that requires a change in the present job you must devote time to serve people over the weekends if possible because it's a healing is a house of healing also so your healing abilities in increase uh, when venus is transiting the sixth house so it's a good time for nursing or the doctors profession you know surgeries and all they they perform well so if looking for a house help then of course which is a very common issue in india so this is the right time you know which is you will get a suitable one i would say so you can be relaxed overall a good transit for you coming to gemini people this transit is happening over your pona house your uh, trinal the fifth the house of purva punyas fun entertainment love pleasure recreational activity romantic relationship flirting creation theaters drama falling in love casual sex showing off fun etc 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 so venus transition from this house will uplift all those areas of life but do not but do not there is a difference between hobby and obsession because it's a house of hobby so do not fall prey venus is the lord of the 5th and the 12th and it aspects your 11th in the transit so this is the best time for the students also if they are planning to go abroad study abroad this is a good time for that the creative and the romantic self gets positively impacted so the best time to put efforts towards getting into new relationships or in travels gains to the partner possibility of a childbirth because fifth house yeah, yeah. new yeah. Job prospects on the card and during the venus retrogression phase you are likely to spend lot of money on luxuries and entertainment so you better watch out there is always i've seen in retrogression time venus transit venus retrogression 18 months gap you know venus gets re, you know retrograde so you can imagine how much money goes uh, all the savings almost i've seen people have spent on uh, renovation and you know entertainment and luxuries so and it's not a good time for business growth health will be excellent overall a great transit for you guys so so because it's a partial i feel it's a partial yoga karagraha for because for gemini there is no such yoga karagraha so i feel venus is the only graha which is the positive most graha for planet for uh, gemini ascendant now moving on to the cancer natives uh, cancer uh, people venus is transiting your fourth house it's the karak also for the fourth house not to forget that and it's an angular house again so the malave yoga works here also so house of mother comfort sukhasthan the family home material things this is a sthan where venus gets big belly also not to forget that pond of luxuries you know rest laziness doesn't want to work loses big belly in the 10th house because of that because he does uh, venus doesn't want to work wants just to relax and it's a significator of the same as well obviously aspects the 10th house being the lord of the 4th and the 11th you are as it is fond of beautifying your place of abode with this transit coming over so you have all the reasons to renovate your house redecorate your house maybe change your old vehicle to new one or uh, change the present job you're in this is the right time to do so this is the right time to reflect back to your re relationship with your mother also if you are staying away from your mother visit her take her blessings this is definitely a good period for you if you are you know if you are uh, uh, taking blessings from your mother it, you know your ancestral indirectly your ancestral property and inheritance will be in your favor i feel if you are that mental bent they will get resolved the 11th lord um, is passing through your 6th house 
so this is the right time to take some loans from your older siblings or your friends very good phase for the students of cancer rising they will have more focus towards studies so it's overall a good phase coming to the leo rising people uh, or the moon signs this transit happens over your third house and this sign this is the sign where the lagna lord sun debilitates not to forget that and it is going to transit the same soon as well i have given you the dates now venus is the lord of the third house of courage and siblings and communication and the 10th house the house of profession so anyone trying to offer the career in mass media communication food industry clothes line luxury items hotel industry film industry acting so this is the most favorable period for venturing into all these things all these spheres of life so your relationship with your siblings of course you know it gets better rather than being authoritative you will be more affectionate towards them lovable towards them a new romance with your neighbor maybe you know which is going on and culminate into a wedding if you are not, think, not thinking so this is the right time students will go will do well work related travels that is also on cards but a lot depends upon the placement of the natal sun also and the natal venus as well whether they are in good dignity bad dignity suppose someone has a debilitated and eclipsed uh sun in the chart the lagna lord then it's not going to confer that great results they are more inclined towards illicit relationships i would say mm -hmm. because fifth lord is getting uh, the lagna lord is getting debilitated the uh you know the relationships will turn sour when venus is transiting your third house rather i would say the demonous qualities uh, come forward i've seen this is from my person experience I've, i'm saying so it's better to keep a check on the same and uh, don't do any loose talks don't avoid talk bickering that's uh, get more spiritually inclined that's the best or maybe you know stay focused on your work more that's what is the best now coming to the next sign of virgo Virgo people, this transit of Venus is over your second house, house of family, family values, savings, accumulated wealth, teeth, mouth area, and is it is aspecting your eighth house, being the lord of the second and the ninth house of luck and fortune, even father. So this is a favorable transit as far as your savings and making more money is concerned. If planning makeover or getting your teeth job done you know or maybe uh, some people go in for cosmetic surgeries or face lifting you know some these just all that is happening right babachit i think many people are isn't it yes yes, yes. so so this is the right time to go in for the cosmetic surgeries i would say and so, second house also shows the face most of the time yeah. and that yeah. is one area where majority times most of the times people do so you can do it <laughs> yes <laughs> that's why i just uh, i i thought uh, i must uh, take your opinion also in between <laughs> yes yes why not <laughs> so your father will help you repay your debts if any or you may take loan from him do something for an elderly lady at home if you have somebody serve her it's a good chance uh, uh, of getting the inheritance related issues resolved time to make um, major investments before venus gets retrograde but you have to make sure that because venus retrogression is also coming in between so people you must be careful you know you should not take such decisions during that period so if you're working for someone else and planning for a startup then you know food chains or food related jobs will help you attain success right time to do so pay attention to your old family values stick to them this is the time to do so so libra natives coming to the libra libra yes good times for you and the reason is obvious 
your uh, you know the transit you have been suffering from past um, one month or so the lagna lord you know was in the 12th house and it was debilitated in the sign of virgo so definitely a sigh of relief for you guys lord of the first and the eighth brings in some real great changes in your relationship status if single then marriage is on cards if on a lookout then you will come across a good partner and if you are married already then it's a good time to improve the chemistry between the two you uh, you know um, libra people are generally you know very um, uh, i would say not shy but you know they are very uh they 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 are uh, more into uh, uh, emotional bent of mind so if you are having that kind of bent of mind so this is the right time look for a good partner you will find one and uh, you love to wear finer quality clothes wear the best of perfumes so this transit enhances that even more the research student because eighth lord also so research students will do well as uh, this is a fruitful transit for you be watchful if there is any um extramarital or a secret relationship this is the time when chances of coming to the limelight are bright so secret relationship will no, no longer be a secret relationship so avoid getting involved in such relationships which uh, actually you know uh, have no future also i so you can just avoid you can flourish in the business related uh, to perfumes watches cosmetics precious gems um this is a very conducive period actually for you i would say very con conducive you can get inclined towards the uh, artistic uh, domains like singing dancing you know all that you can do and uh, of course uh, the luck lord is also going to join in the lagna so it is uh, definitely going to be uh, a very good phase for you you can plant whatever you have at that time so health is excellent so enjoy this phase it's your time just go ahead whatever you have been just lying pending so you can just complete it moving further on scorpio the eighth sign eighth house eighth sign of the natural zodiac this is happening in your 12th house and for you venus uh, libra aspects the 6th being the lord of the 12th and the 7th and extravagant wedding is on the cards i would say you are planning one some extraordinary expenditure on opening a new business firm is likely because second uh, sign is in the 7th house taurus so avoid if possible uh, cut down on your expenses if possible if you are buying luxury items then you can or maybe travels abroad then you can you know just uh, cut down on the expenditures there also you do it but do it in a very you know minimized manner so because the travel uh, the expenditures are on the rise for you people so no harm if you want to indulge and you have it it's fine seventh lord transiting the 12th might lead to distant relationship with the spouse also or maybe a new relationship in the foreign land you can take a spiritual journey during this phase 12th transit of venus is considered highly beneficial in regards to physical pleasures it's a highly highly passionate placement so you must enjoy this phase scorpio is the natural 8th house of the zodiac and venus is the sanjeevani not to forget i mentioned in the beginning does health would would be, uh, will be excellent so if you are having some health issues from the past they will be taken care of they'll be fine so but uh, avoid taking any loans during this phase it's not a right time coming to the sagittarius sagittarius this uh, uh, transit is being the lord of uh, the 11th and 6th this is definitely a uh, positive one for you it is um, in the 11th house uh, transit so long stuck jobs will get complete during this phase help will come from the um, i would say from not just one side but from all the sides especially the older siblings and friends they will be there multiple uh, investments will be there in your life at that time maybe winning a lottery if you have some lottery 
provision here. So multiple job offers your way. Now it's a time for you to pick and choose. Being 12 from the 7th, it becomes a bit difficult for settling down well in your business ventures. If already in a business, then there will be lack of cordiality there if you have a partnership uh, venture. So it is it will bring lack of cordiality between the partners, a joint venture if it's there. So if you are planning to get into one, so just avoid during this phase. 11th is 6th from 6th, not to forget. So taking loans at this time would not be a good idea as well because you know the repayment will be difficult. Minor most health issues might just aggravate during this phase. So the best prevention, uh, the best is to uh, prevent rather than cure. Uh, means uh, you, you're drinking cold water. If you know it is going to obviously uh, spoil your throat or you'll have cough later. So it's better that don't, uh, uh, you know, just, just don't drink cold water. Avoid. Don't be overindulgent. So be it on the physical plane or on the mental plane, just avoid. Strike a balance. Follow the spiritual path for overall success and grow during this space. This will bring good thinking abilities to you. Make the most of that during this space. Invest sensibly. Participate in human humanitarian causes. If possible, adopt a girl child. Good time for students, success in uh, competitive exams. It's overall a good phase for you. If it's not, then make one. <laughs> Coming to Capricorn. Capricorn uh, uh, rising or and the moon sign natives. I keep repeating that because then the confusion crops up again. Which one to see? Ascendant or moon? Both. Venus will be transiting through your 10th house, another angular Kendra house. I want to add something here, Babaji, you know, Kendra house, I've heard once long ago, Kendra house, if Venus is stationed, one gets uh, angry very quickly, taken to anger. Secondly, that person uh, is uh, having a lot of black money. Oh. Yeah, that's something which, you know, I wanted to share in the beginning, but that's all right. So this is the last angular house. So I will uh, tell you what is the position of this. Because uh, Venus loses his big bull uh, here because it's in the 10th house. So this doesn't uh, like to work, you see, Venus, this Venus. So it's the planet of luxury. So 10th house is house of career and profession, as we all know, name and fame. And being the yoga karagraha for for this particular lagna. So it holds the rulership of uh, the fifth also because of that. So this transit definitely is a positive and a favorable one for you as far as the job is concerned, the profession, the career, good period if you are planning to change the line of profession also. So this is a good period. It's a good chance for you. So uh, although the workload will be doubled, it will be increasing tremendously. So you will be able to handle that, but you know, because of being the yoga kara graha for this. And Saturn is a karma kara as it is. So, you know, whatever the government related work is there pending, you can just get it resolved during this. But before Sun transits into uh, Libra, because Sun is government jobs, government. So all that you have to do before Sun's transit. And of course, the retrogression of Venus. Relations with children will increase, uh, uh, you know, it will be better, improve. And um, if they are not listening to you, they will start listening to you. Then your cre creative self will see some light. Don't suppress it. Good time to initiate any romantic relationship or plan a wedding. When Mercury also co-joins uh, uh, Venus, this would be a period of extensive travels. But with Sun co-joining in mid-October, a retrograde Venus, then it will be a time to face a lot of obstacles, which I didn't want to mention, but yes, it's going to happen. So you are prepared now. So you just, you know, the lack of coordination at place of work will be there. So you are mentally prepared now. So you just, this is a general view I'm just giving you. So just, you know, make sure with the bosses, you are with your seniors, with your colleagues, you know, you have a good relationship maintained already. So maintain your cool at that time. So... Just maintain a good chemistry between them at that point. 
the lagna lord saturn and venus obviously are uh, having a good chemistry so that's a saving grace for you so make the best use of that at that time so coming to the sign 11th sign second last sign of aquarius aquarius rising people or moon sign people you have this transit over your luck house the ninth house venus is the lord of the fourth and the ninth thus the main focus point this period would be on the higher learning completing your university degrees or masters or phd relocation in the foreign lands travels serving your father or finding a religious guru or a quest to a spiritual journey a path understanding foreign culture language belief system so this is the good period for all these things so you pick and choose whichever suits you you just pick and choose there are so many thousands of significations which work for a particular house so these are what i can just touch in such a short duration so you just see whatever suits you pick and choose it's a good phase for you you will achieve it long stuck business proposals will get clearance and you will be fortunate to own a house or a land or a vehicle during this phase you will take your mother maybe on a pilgrimage if you if if you are planning to you that's a good time which again is a fortunate moment this is the luck house so it's a fortunate moment for you mother doing serving mother is the best remedy for all life everything good time uh to renovate your house if you are planning to relocate from the present house maybe when mercury co conjoins uh venus that's the right time to communicate your feelings uh, towards the other person express yourself don't be an introvert you know because uh, this capricorn and aquarius people are a little introvert i feel so you know that's the time they should use when venus and mercury are conjoining so they can be in planetary war also so but still you know this is a better period for all this so express any artistic or creative skills that uh, you have inside that that should be enhanced trading and negotiating are favored because of a smooth communication during this phase so make the maximum you out of it this this is a favorable period for you and uh, take care of your father's health when sun is transiting uh, along with venus in the sign of libra so take care of your father's health and your job as well because it's the 12 from the 10 coming to the last sign pisces pisces people you have this transit over your 8th house yes 8th house comes again dusthan house of suddenness sudden losses sudden gains a deep house house of sensuality gifts um you know gifts you know that is the unearned income people's money mysteries die to transform house venus transit over the eighth signifies gain through inheritance and legacies and general benefit through partners this placement provides you with an ability to transform your relationships but if venus is afflicted in your natal chart if then you can indicate laziness and lack of discipline you uh, maybe you know you value passion relationships and don't care much for the superficial one your uh, you know you're getting your heart is you know little discriminating uh, you could make shrewd and discriminating in business also so just just be watchful being the lord of the third house um venus will transit um over your communications and your siblings or your neighbors etc so if you have any affectionate or a friendly relationship uh, with the neighbor or a fling then it can culminate into a wedding if you are planning to so this is the right time to do so depending upon the natal placement of the venus as well and mercury in the chart because uh, it is the third house which is uh, in the kal purush kundli uh, gemini sign the mercury on sign so uh, all the communication depends on this this particular uh, transit so the tv radios newspapers these are all you know vital parts of it so transportation uh, means short travels that is the house of short travels also so you can plan all that you know you may also try hands on um, painting artistic things you know so maybe cooking sculpting or stuff like that just transform to a better person right that's that's what i can say that's the right time to do so so this 
all brings me to the end of the interpretation, the general viewpoint of mine on uh, the impact on the, um, you know, upcoming uh, of the upcoming transit of Venus in Libra over all the zodiac signs with, uh, you know, all the information that I had, I am, I've just shared with you people. So I hope it is helpful and uh, it is, uh, it brings a little bit of preparation. What do you think? Babaji? Yeah, because it's a very long transit. And uh, in my experience, I've seen that in that 18 months period, where which house Venus is transiting during that retrogression, that that house becomes very important for the till the next uh, retrogression begins. Like last retrogression was around March 2017, I guess. 17, yeah. Yeah, so that time it was retrograde in Pisces. So... Mm -hmm. So what uh, I have seen with people is that wherever Pisces was falling in the chart, as for the ascendant especially, that house and the rulerships of Venus were very closely connected during these 18 months also. Right. Yeah, so it is like yeah. saying there's a new cycle which is beginning. And regarding, uh, as we are saying, for Leo ascendants. So one of my friends I know, she's a Leo ascendant and... She's about to go to Delhi, I guess. Her new career is going to start. <laughs> because it's the 10th Lord. And she's going in October. She was just uh, having a chat with me. And she's also into journalism and all this. Because it is also the 3rd Lord, you see. Yes. Yeah, so she's going to have a new start. And I think she's exactly moving that time when Venus is going <laughs> in that retrogression phase. How exactly. can How can she not? How can she yeah. not? <laughs> and even for Capricorn, I guess, because it's also the 10th lot. So something to do with their career will happen. And one of my, uh, another friend, he's Capricorn Lagna. So in fact, okay. he's also, he's also planning to apply for jobs during that time. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just I'm imagine like, how these things work. Yeah, I can see okay. the transits playing. That is why when I made the video on Mars uh, two days back, so I just said something very simple. Just look the areas which Mars was ruling in your chart. And now you will actually, because now Mars has started going direct, hopefully by today. So you will actually now feel very confident when it is in exhortation. That is what I see that when a planet is transiting in its own or multricon or exhortation, people think that, oh, everything will be good around that planet. No, it's not like that. The only thing which I have seen happening is that whatever happens in that area, you feel very confident. Like, for example, Mars is in Capricorn and suppose Mars is ruling the 10th house for Aquarius, for example. So wherever it is transiting, it doesn't mean that you will feel uh, you, you will feel that, oh, I have won everything. I, I will be the best in career. I will shine like the sun. It's not necessarily like that. But whatever problems will come and challenges, because it is in a state of exaltation, you will feel that I will cross over it. I can cross over it. That that confidence. I can conquer it. I can conquer. Ah. I have an exalted Mars in my natal, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So that that will be more relevant. So I, I know I know I know what the retrograde period has done to me, and I know very well what this exaltation period does to me. I am uh, hats off to this period, actually. Yeah, and that is what, uh, as you also said earlier, if Venus is afflicted in somebody's chart, natal chart, or if it is exalted, or if it is in Libra especially and generally I have seen if it is in my opinion I have seen if a planet is well placed sign wise and then it is afflicted the problem is more rather than being debilitated and then afflicted because they say that when a planet is exalted it means that the awareness related to the planet is very high you are very aware of how to deal with that planet like Venus in Pisces rather than yeah. Venus in Virgo but when an exalted planet is under serious affliction, it means that when you had performed sinful activities pertaining to that planet in your past lives, you are very aware. <laughs> yeah. so suppose you are trying to break somebody's relationship and get into one of the partners. And suppose, so you are totally aware that I should not do this because your Venus is well placed now. So then I have seen that they have more suffering rather than a debilitated planet which has afflictions. Because I have seen this in charts of many sadhus and spiritual saints that their Venus is in a debility or in a like unfriendly sign or whatever you call it like some sign like cancer or Leo especially 
where Venus is not that considered to be great. Or in Virgo, of course. And then I see that Venus is very badly afflicted. There. Mm. So that affliction gives them disinterest for uh, all this now marriage and all these things. Avoid to marry, just stay like this. But because mm. the awareness is also not very high, so they, yeah. they, they don't have this need only for Venus, I have seen. <laughs> but suppose Venus is exalted in somebody's chart and then you have these afflictions. Then it's like, you are always feeling, I need Venus, I need Venus, I need Venus. Right. And then all these yeah, afflictions are there. Yeah. You will always feel that, oh, why I don't have this? Why I don't have, why I don't have <laughs> Yeah, so if somebody has... You're some, talking, actually, you're talking about the dignity of the planets, you know. Dignity of the planets is like definitely, you know, I, I feel if uh, a planet is debilitated, you know, and it's in the, uh, you know, in the thick houses or somewhere, it is debilitated or it's in weak dignity, it gives good results. Mm -hmm. Always. Okay. okay. And if it's in a good dignity, but, you know, aspects are bad, even in good houses, they don't give good results. They don't. Yes, yes. So dignity is very, very, very important. Where your Venus is, how your Venus is, what aspects, where Venus is aspecting. Venus's position in a chart doesn't matter so much. It's aspect, any planet, as a matter of fact. I feel the aspect is more strong because, you know, it is looking straight into the it eye of that. A, it is having a desire to get that, which it doesn't have. Yeah, that is that is also one reason. And then you know, like it is it is something uh, something to do with you know, like that uh, that is something you know is not mine. Oh. this is my house. Uh -huh. So you will be protected towards your environment, right? More. Yeah. Okay. So that is not mine. So if something which is not yours, you will not value it so much, right? Oh. You are just looking at it. Oh okay. Oh okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's something to do with that. Nice, amazing session it was first time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we can keep on talking and talking and discussing Venus. Venus is a planet of uh, uh you know, um, it is it is something to do with uh not just luxuries, I would say, not just romance, not just it is it is something to do with the worldly and the material things and you know, uh uh, it is the desire also not just mars is the desire you know it is venus is also a desire full of zeal i would say if you have a good venus you are sorted sorted for at least you're materialistic so i think that is that is fine if till the time you are in this world you have to be materialistic also yes right? <laughs> at the same time obviously other factors also so thank you so much, uh, Bhavajit, for uh, having me over. Thank you so much. My pleasure. And, uh, I'm waiting for your uh, coming over to my channel soon. I will be waiting for you. I invite you in front of all your audience, all my audience. I request you to please plan a session. And, yes, uh, why not? Over on the, astrology. In the next session will be from my home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you're traveling. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Safe yes. travels and, to you. Safe travels to you. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, whoever has not visited her channel, you can please go and subscribe to it. There's amazing content there. And recently posted a lot of videos on transits, if I'm right. Yeah, my last video was on the transits for September month. And previous to that was Jupiter and Venus conjunction, which is a very rare video, you know, people do because it's a short uh, conjunction short period conjunction so people yeah. just ignore this but it is such a vital conjunction because people don't get married when they have jupiter and venus together i've, I've got 10 charts waiting for me <laughs> for uh, you okay. know to be read because they are waiting when to get married so that's a very precarious one as well so that is one video i have done so you can just visit and see that also and you also do consultations uh, they can mail you in the email which i'll give below yes uh, yes definitely it is vlastrology24 at gmail.com anybody can reach out and uh, i uh, i these are all paid consultants yes i do that yes yes all right thank you very much then <laughs> thank you Carry thank you so much video. thanks yep. yes. Namaste. Om, that's it. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Namaste.